Uh, this is the Bongo 15. This is the trailer. It's about 10 years old. It's a uh, eight years old. There's a mass support that I put on. It's not really anywhere on it. This is the cradle. The chute comes out, and the uh, spinnaker pole. This is the lifting keel. This is the spot. This guy has an old repair there. I would chip away what was there and then do a, what's it called, a marine P-Tex fill. Just comes in a jar. Fill it like putty. This is the keel. I believe it's 100 pounds. You can kind of see the, the gel coats coming off the lead. Tires and wheels are great. Fenders are great. Lights work. This is the rear cradle. This is the open transom in the back. It's basically a wet sailor unless you're underway and you get some hole speed. Um, if you're in the flat, just kind of standing around, it kind of dips into the water about this far. Maybe a little further. This is the mast. It's currently on the cradle here. But it was reglassed by CSR around 2015 and it's fine the reason I got re glass is that the fibers were really exposed before because it was in the sunlight all the time but I've kept her in this cover the last several years you can kind of see maybe yeah maybe there's bubbling I'm not quite sure but you know it's completely smooth it's probably just a result when they laid the glass down or uh, did that seal in whatever it was. This is port. The other cradle. You know, if I had to say anything, you know, the paint on the cradles getting nasty. And I, I don't really like it for a lot of highway model miles. I think ultimately it's going to need to be reinforced. At least that glass, uh, whatever this was, that it was the original for the boat. It used to be on a beach dolly. And so when I got it, I wanted to be able to use a truck to put it in and out. So it's about 450 pounds. And so I had this one made by Yacht Master. Not really anything else on this side. There's this, which... It's kind of an irritation. When they put the boat back on the cradle after getting it all, um, getting this cradle put on, when they painted it, he put it on wet. So that's annoying, but it's not stuck in any way. It's just got like this little bit of paint in there. The hitch is a two inch ball. And then, yeah, this is what was reglassed. Uh, basically, what happened is one time I was lifting and lowering the keel, and the pulley system, which is like a, like a five to one, it slipped and cracked the top here. So then I had CSR come about and put a, a new piece of carbon fiber over the top of it to reinforce it. So, this is the new console. It's, Nothing's going to happen with that for a while. You know, maybe the keel has got damage as it comes in and out. Down through here. Because it kind of wobbles like it goes in and out. And I think that uh, just kind of has had wear there. That's pretty much it. That's where the shoot bag is. It's been a while since I rigged it. Um, so you definitely have to look at 
videos on uh, the best way to rig. Um, the mast is stepped, and then it uh, just comes into these. It takes about, when I remember, about 30, 30 minutes to get it all set up. It's definitely easier with two people. Maybe it was 40 with one person, 20 with two. It's a beautiful boat. It actually came here from oh, in Annapolis, I believe, on a boat show. I got this information from a guy that I met that actually owned this boat. And it came across as a demo boat, and they didn't want to bring it back, so they sold it cheap to the guy. I think that was in 2003 or so. And it's a little bit lost. It was pole number 18. like an alien spaceship. Nothing wrong with this. This is all just completely functional. Honestly, the trailer is as much as what you're paying for.